Tanqua Art Space 2023. My name is Jette. I'm from Denmark and I'm a visual artist. I mainly uh, work in relation to nature. I work with natural materials and I mainly work site specific in nature. Sometimes I work in um, with commissions or I work with uh, with more sculptural projects which is outdoor which is often time limited because someone owns the land and we are only allowed to have to disturb or the landscape for an amount of six months or so and sometimes uh, I feel lucky to work in a in a space where it can stay like in a natural circle until it comes back yeah. to the ground. So you are here for the second time. Yes. Let's talk about the first time. What made you come? How did you hear about this uh, Tangwa artscape and what was so convincing for you to travel that far to participate? I, I heard about the, the project. I was curating a pre project in Denmark where I have invited uh, Stratum van der Merve from South Africa. And uh, he told me about this project. It just appealed to me. I think I'm always trying to to bend my own boundaries. I'm always uh, seeking for getting close to nature. And now you're here the second time. Mm -hmm. What is different when you arrive at the second time? If I could start with the first time, then it was very very overwhelming with the, with the environment, with the landscape, because I come from a very small country. And when we have a, the end of one village, the next village start. So we don't have these open areas. If we have some open areas, it's cultivated land for the farmers. So it's not natural nature, you can say. So this to come in a place where there's overwhelming natural nature, that's fantastic. And it was also a kind of agrophobia because the landscape was so wide. There was no place I could hide or shelter. So it was really, um, yeah, it was impressive. I think I l learned a lot about myself and I try to understand this new kind of landscape. So when I, I came back to Denmark, um, I, the landscape was calling me back. I wanted to dig a little deeper in in the understanding of, of the environment and and the connection people have to land here. So what is your own connection to this environment and what has changed in yourself when you said, you know, the first time you came here you learned a lot about yourself? You know, in, in my daily life I have family, I have children, I have grandchildren, I have old parents, uh, I have to make money. There's always a lot of things I have to do. When we had the walk uh, from Area 51 the first time, I was a uh, quite a skeptical. You know, when JP introduced it the evening before, I was like, I have passed 50. <laughs> I don't want to be told to do things like this. But then I said, oh, but I have chosen to come here and I, I'll do it and see what it is. But I was actually a quite of anxious about it because the environment was so different. And I also found myself uh, the first way of the walk to check out on, on people. Are they, are they okay? Can, can everyone find home? You know, just a, as a role of the mother to check out how are my chickens. <laughs> and um, so it took me actually a while to get into my relation to myself and the landscape. I just think it's it's very healthy for me to uh, to be in a position where it's easier for me to connect with myself. How would you describe this 
this relationship between you, the landscape, the work here? It's some kind of uh, simplicity, but the understanding of the land, it, it's in a process. It's not that I have it. I try to dig a little deeper to try to understand it. What do you mean when you say you try to understand the land? Like someone yesterday or the other day had a phrase, the land holds you. So I understand it with my mind, but to understand it with my heart, I have to feel the ground and the, the land. It's still, it's a kind of mental thing. It's not a, a heart thing. And I want to move from the head to the heart. So what does it do to you as a visual artist? I mean, here you just look, 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 and you see all kind of things, you know. it's. I mean, it's really here in the detail. There is this vast emptiness, but then a hundred little details. How do you cope with this as a visual artist when everything is around you is, as you say, overwhelming? Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it's also a need to grab a detail because it is overwhelming. Your practice is important to have some way to to put all these impressions. And what is it, the impact on your work, the environment here? I use the a story from here and the materials here, but I put it in another way, so to say take a, a detail from, from the whole to, um, to tell a story what has impressed me here. Is your work here different than it is from Denmark? From what you do in Denmark? Um, no, it's actually very much the, the way I work with such specific things, yeah. What is it then if you say the process or your work is pretty much the same, what does, what Change is it? the difference? Yeah. The, the difference is that I'm in another position. I have the simplicity uh, and I'm in a, in a new scenery. Does it make it easier to work or? I think that all, your, your, all my senses are more open and, and that's also the thing about traveling. To me, that you you don't have a reason. You don't do the same five o'clock every day or so. When you are traveling, you are just open and following what is happening. So that's the difference here. That I don't have duties like I do at home, but I can actually spend my my whole energy in in how to work, and that makes it more complete. You can say. What do you take back home? What have you taken home last year? Yeah, I have taken home things about myself, that how I make the priorities for creating space for for my work or or for for my duties and and how I can actually kind of create like a mini mini workshop like I have here. If you would have five words to describe the landscape here, the nature, what would be the five words? Overwhelming. Still, yes. even the second time. Yes, yeah, definitely. Simplicity, colors, silence. If you look at the process, what happened the first time when you came here and now you're again in the same process mm. so to speak do you feel any kind of differences is it was it easier for you for example to find the right spot is it easier for you to follow the plan you came with Are, what kind of differences do you realize yeah, between the first and the second time yes like um I have got to know part of the environment and the atmosphere here and I know I know about what was what I was going to expect 
which personally makes it so much easier for me to stop. You know, I uh, I knew what I was going to, yeah, just like going on any other travel and when you arrive, you know, I know the grocery is there, I know the good uh, bar is there or the yeah. good, uh, whatever. So the the fact that I that I I knew the 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 surroundings make it makes me comfortable and also um, um, so I could go a uh, more go a, a step deeper. Yeah. Yeah. But you were here the first time. You were here with your husband. Yes. And now you also have a co-creator. Yes. So to speak. Yes. Is this always part of your work that no. you work together with people? No. This time, because uh, Gina and I met last time, and um, and we just went well, very well on together. And after the residency, we had some communications, and we were having ideas and and went home with uh, with some of the same impressions like one of them was that uh, it looks very dry but it is actually quite fertile and uh, and Gina had the same so it just was a kind of obvious that we could do a project together as an artist I work very much on my own but I like to be in residences or projects where we are more people working together, even we are working beside each other. Having the possibility to work together, it can lift you and the work in another place because uh, it's a synergy with the different energies and competences. So I feel very lucky that uh, it's a possibility. You came here with a very precise idea what you were planning to do. Mm. Uh, now, being here, I mean, you've been here before, so you knew what to expect and yeah. uh, what might come. Have your plans changed in any way? Uh, no, the subject hasn't changed. But the, um, uh, but the factual um, materials, I would say, has changed. But But the idea is still the same. But we grab it differently. Okay, so maybe in a second round we can talk more yeah. about the project. Yes, but for sure. now, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs>